This story begins with a lady named Marnie, who has been in the police station for the past two years. Now the police leave her because of her good behavior. Her punishment was not completely forgiven. But now, whatever punishment was left, she would have to spend her life like a prisoner in her house. A tracking device is also installed on her feet, which will tell the police when she walks. That is, she could not walk more than 100 feet in her house. If she goes out or tries to run away from her house, then the police will know about it with the help of this device. Now a police inspector comes to leave Marnie at her house, who keeps the keys to the device with him, and also says that we will be watching you all the time. Marnie had actually killed her husband, because of which she was punished. The bloodstains on her were still present on the wall of her house. Marnie's husband was also a police officer, the same inspector whose name is Shanks, who had come to leave Marnie at home. He was her companion. That's why Shanks was also very sad about the death of his friend. But Marnie did not kill her husband on purpose. In fact, she killed him by mistake, while saving herself. But Shanks did not believe anything Marnie said. He says to her that, as you are telling her, my friend could never do this. Now that Inspector Shanks has left, Marnie has started cleaning her house. First of all, she goes to keep her husband's clothes in the basement, but the basement was more than 100 feet. This device was of a special kind. Neither would it ever close, nor would Marnie be able to remove it from her leg. If she did anything like this, the police would immediately know. So that's why she throws the bag from a distance. Because of this, the bag was opened, and all the stuff spread in the basement. After that, she first removes the bloodstain from the wall where her husband died. She cleans her house. She washes her hands and wears her clothes. She wore her clothes after many days. She slept on her bed after many days. One day she sat by the window and started thinking that the old days could never come back. This society will never accept her. Just because she killed her husband. She thinks that the friends who used to meet her before used to come to her house. Now no one thinks she is good. Everyone started hating her. They are ignoring her. On the same night, strange incidents start happening with Marnie. Sometimes she has big candles. It burns or extinguishes in the wind. She feels the urge to leave her own house. When she went and saw him, there was a man outside who had been living in the basement of her house for the past year. Anyway. He is afraid of Marnie and goes away from there. The next morning, in the light of the day, nothing happens to Marnie. She spends the whole day very well. Now she couldn't go out to get the groceries, so she ordered the kitchen stuff on the phone. A boy named Joy comes to give the stuff to Marnie. He says that from today on, I will come to give you all the stuff. One night, she lit the lighter to light the cigarette. Suddenly, a terrifying face comes in front of her which was not of anyone else but of her husband. Seeing whom, she gets scared. She fell from the bed. She runs towards the door to go out. But suddenly she remembers that she can't go out of her house. If she does this, the police will arrest her for 10 years. Now her husband's soul was slowly moving towards her. She pulls her leg. At that time, Marnie runs out of fear. And she fell down in the basement and fainted. After a while, Shank comes to her because she came to know it from the tracking device. When she comes to her senses, she finds Shanks in front of her. So now she doesn't tell her anything. What happened to her? And how did she get here? Because she herself does not believe what happened to her and what did not. That's when she sees the blood mark on the wall, which she had erased, but now he has come back. Marnie could not sleep at night. She spends the whole night in fear. And she explains to herself, Marnie, don't be afraid. Ghosts and spirits are nothing. From the next morning paranormal strange things start at her house. Now she felt that someone else was living with her in this house. She hears someone walking from the upper part of her house. When she goes to make coffee in the kitchen, she sees the utensils on the shelf in front were moving. Suddenly, those utensils fell on her. Marty saves herself. But now, after this incident she was convinced. Her husband's soul is in this house, which is bothering her. Marnie bravely confronts her, and she says that I will not go anywhere from here. This is my house too. A few days pass like this. 
Now Marnie's husband's soul was bothering her even during the day. Shank, who was sitting outside, kept an eye on Marnie's house, but he did not know anything about what was happening inside his house. Among all this, Marnie had a good friend, Joy, who used to come to his house to give things they become good friends. One day, she tells him about her husband. She says that he was very good to me in front of the world. But alone, he used to kill me through the intoxication of alcohol, and he used to commit a lot of atrocities. I also complained to the police many times. But neither did anyone believe me, nor did the police get any evidence, because he used to kill me in such a way that there were no signs on my body. One night, he was scaring me with a knife. So to save myself, I killed him with a knife, due to which he died. Hearing all this, Joy says that whether anyone believes you or not, but I do. Because now Joy has started liking him. Now she asks Joy to know about the ghosts. She asks for a lot of books. After reading those books, she finds out. First of all, the things of that soul will have to be removed from the house. Where he used to live. Then the holy water in the whole house will have to be sprinkled in the house. And at the same time the soul has to say something on the phone. Go away from here, Marnie thinks. She will do everything. But she had thrown her husband's stuff in the basement. Now she had this challenge in front of her. She has to go to the basement within three minutes and bring back her husband's stuff. Because after three minutes, the tracking device on her leg will start working. Now she does the same. She goes to the basement and quickly collects all the stuff and puts it up. That's when her husband's soul pulls her leg and throws her away. But still, Marnie had brought the stuff up. That's when Shank comes in, hearing the noise in her house. Who always kept an eye on her by staying outside her house? When he sees the bruises on Marnie's face and blood coming out of her nose, then he thinks that she must not have killed her husband. The killer is someone else who is now trying to kill her too. He asks Marnie what the truth is. You tell me. I will help you. And I will not tell anyone. When Marnie tells her the truth that her husband's soul is troubling her in this house, and she wants to kill. Hearing this, Shank says, You have gone crazy. This can never happen, Marnie says. I knew it. No one will believe me. That's why she now thinks. Whatever she has to do, she will have to do it alone. She picks up all the stuff about her husband and throws it in the garbage, and when she starts throwing her wedding ring in the hole of the horn, that's when her husband's soul was trying to pull her hand, put it in the gutter, and cut it. But Marnie saves herself. Now the blood mark that she used to erase once again, he comes to his place. She looks at him and thinks, there is still something that her husband has left in this house. She was looking for it like crazy. She does not get anything. And, in this madness, she hits her head on the ground again and again. That's when a tile on the floor was torn. She is very surprised to see this. Now she slowly tears half the tiles too, under which she gets a bag full of money. Looking at what she says, oh, this is the stuff that my husband still has in this house. Looking at the money, she thinks what should she do with this money now after thinking a lot, she decides, she will give this money to the church. Now she calls her father and gives him the money. And she also says that by doing ritual magic at her house, whatever is present here, drive it away. But the father refuses to do this because he also realized that here is the power of the soul, which he cannot control. Now after his death, Marnie herself completes all the rituals and she tells her husband's soul to go away from here but it was not so easy to drive her away. She bothers Marnie again, she grabs her hair and pulls it away, and she hits her head on the wall. That's when Marnie asks her, what do you want that soul makes a you on the wall with her blood? It means she should have killed her. Her husband's soul had come to take revenge for her death. She also tries to run away from here. But her husband's soul does not even let this happen. She had closed all the windows and doors of the house. She picks up all the furniture from the house and kills Marnie. That soul also tried to kill her with nails. But her husband's soul does not kill her. The whole house was destroyed. Marnie was now alone and scared at home. That's why she calls Joy to spend time. 
After a while he was also very excited. Now he wanted to come to Marnie's house, and in a little while, he also comes to her. They spent the whole night together. In the morning, Marnie was very happy. Her husband's soul was now angry, he catches Joy and hits her on the wall. That soul hit her so hard that her nose and mouth started bleeding. That soul also broke her hands and legs. Joy gets a very terrible death. Everything was happening in front of Marnie's eyes. But she can't do anything. Because when she tries to save Joy, her husband's soul also throws her away. Now Joy's dead body was in front of her. And her husband's soul too. Which she was now able to see. Marnie's hands and legs start shaking. She is very scared. First of all, she goes to the bathroom and cleans herself. That's when the shank comes to the door. Because she saw Joy coming last night. He now tells Marnie to open the door. She was very scared to see the shank. And she thinks about what to do now. But first of all, she hides Joy's dead body. She knew that the shank would not believe her. That Joy was killed by her husband's soul. She hides Joy's dead body under the tiles. Then she removes the phone from the shirt and puts it inside. That's when the shank came inside. Marnie wanted to confuse him and send him away as soon as possible, because in the room above, the tiles under which she hid the dead body the shank was standing under the same ceiling. The dead body could have fallen from the ceiling at any time. This is what happens sometimes. When Joy's dead body falls on the shank, now she felt that Marnie had killed Joy too. Like she killed her husband. He now arrests her for this. Marnie does not say anything in her defense. She also wanted to leave this house now. Now, when the shank was taking her away, she saw that Marnie's husband's soul picked her up and hid her far away. If she could understand the shank, this is what happens to her. That soul also throws her away. Shank saw Marnie's husband's soul for the first time. Even when he tries to stop that soul, he can't stand before his strength. He set fire to the whole house. The soul picks up Marnie and Shank and throws them in the basement. Shank was unconscious due to the injury to the head. Marnie also tries to bring him back to consciousness. But she can't. The fire had spread in the house. The door to the basement also closes. Now Marnie first takes out the key from Shank's pocket and opens her device. And then the handcuff of her hands. Then she runs towards the ventilation. She opened it and went out. Then she goes back again, saves Shank, and brings him out. But when she was leaving, the soul of her husband caught her again from behind. She wanted to burn him in the fire and kill him. Then Marnie puts her wedding ring on her face and kills her. And says it's over now. Now everything is over, leave me alone. Then the soul of her husband went and left her behind. She was gone forever. Meaning that the last thing was her ring. Shank and Marnie had escaped and come out. His house burns to ashes. Now Shank too, because he had known the whole truth, tells Marnie to run away from here. Go away. I will take care of everything. Marnie also does the same. She had left from there. She had left this city. Now she had to live with a new name and identity. Because the same news is printed in the newspaper the next day. Marnie's house caught fire, and she also died in it. Now there was no policeman behind Marnie, and no case. She becomes free, and starts her new life. And with this, the story of this movie also ends here.